Lewis Surname Meaning in History presented by COADB.com Surname Meaning It is an English and Welsh surname derived from the Norman personal name Lois, which is in turn derived from the post-classical Latin name Lidovicus, or Ludovicus, the Latinized form of a Germanic name Ludwig, meaning famed battle, with the first part of the word meaning loud or famous, and wig, the second part of the word meaning battle. The name developed into the old French name Clovis, then Clouis and Louis. The name Lois spread to England through the Normans. Can also be a Welsh surname adopted from the Welsh personal name Llewellyn which is derived from the British Celtic name Lugo Belinus or Lonus. The name was the name of two princes in North Wales who held the Norman French at bay for many years in the 1200s. And lastly in Ireland it is a shortened anglicized form of the Gaelic name Mac Lughaid meaning son of Lughaid. This is one of the most common Old Irish personal names, and it is derived from Lu, the brightness, which was the name of a Celtic god portrayed as a warrior, king, and master craftsman. And we see his stone relief on the right. Early bears included William de Luz in Normandy in 1185, Walter Luz in Normandy in the same year, Osbert de Luz in Worcestershire, England in 1199, Robert Lois in Lancashire in 1202, Adam de Luz in Gloucestershire in 1203, and William Lewis in Suffolk in 1267. Noble titles held included the Lewis Baronetcy of Langorse in the county of Brecon in Wales. It was a title created in the Baronetage of England in 1628 for Sir William Lewis a member of parliament for Petersfield, Breconshire, and Lymington, and the grandson of a mercer from Breconshire, and the title became extinct on his death in 1677. One of the estates he was associated with was Bordeen Manor in Hampshire, England. The Lewis Baronetcy of Harpton Court in the county of Radnor was created in 1846 for the politician Sir Thomas Franklin Lewis, who we see on the right. His son, the second baronet, Sir George Cornwall Lewis, was a distinguished statesman who served as both Chancellor of the Exchequer and Home Secretary, and the title became extinct in 1911 upon the death of Sir Herbert Edmund Franklin Lewis, the fourth baronet. Here we see the family estate of Harpton Court. The Lewis Baronetcy of Leadstone in the county I'm sorry, in the Baronetage of England, was created in 1660 for Sir John Lewis, who had acquired a large fortune through trade in India and Persia. He was the son of Richard Lewis of Selston in County Nottinghamshire, and the title became extinct on his death in 1671. And here we see Leadstone, the family estate. The Lewis Baronetcy of Brighton in the County of Sussex was created in the Baronetage of the United Kingdom in 1887, for Sir Charles Lewis, a member of Parliament for Antrim. The title became extinct on his death in 1893. The Lewis Baronetcy of Nantgwyn in the county of Glamorgan was created in the Baronetage of the United Kingdom in 1896 for Sir William Lewis, a coal magnate. He was elevated to the peerage of the United Kingdom as Baron Merther in 1911. Landed gentry families included Lewis of Ballinagar in County Galway, they were represented by John Michael Aylward Lewis in the 19th century. And it looks like they descended from David Lewis, who settled in Ireland in the middle of the 17th century and became an alderman there and sheriff in 1695 and mayor six times. Lewis of St. Pierre in County Monmouthshire, Wales, represented in the 19th century by Charles Edward Lewis. And the family descended from a prince or Welsh chieftain, I believe dating back to the 14th century. 
Lewis of Green Meadow in County Glamorgan, Wales, was represented by Henry Lewis in the 19th century, who was a Justice of the Peace, Deputy Lieutenant, and High Sheriff. And they descended from Sir Thomas Lewis of Penmark Place, who was knighted in 1628. Lewis of Gwynf in County Carmarthenshire, Wales. In the 19th century, they were represented by Charles Bassett Lewis. He was a deputy lieutenant, justice of the peace, retired captain of the Royal Cardigan Militia. And it looks like they descended from Reverend Thomas Lewis, who lived in the 18th century. Lewis of Henlon, in County Pembrokeshire, Wales, represented by John Lennox Griffith Poyer Lewis in the 19th century. And they descended from Richard Lewis, Esquire of Henlon, who lived in the 18th century. Lewis of Strady in County Carmarthenshire, Wales, represented by Charles Mansell Lewis in the 18th century. He was a Justice of the Peace. Lewis of Henleys and Bodier, represented in the 19th century by Thomas Lewis Hampton Lewis. Lewis of Inniskeen and Seatown in Monaghan, Ireland. And they were represented by Henry Owen Lewis in the 19th century and descended from Francis Lewis, who settled in Ireland in the middle of the 17th century and acquired property in counties Kildare and Meath. Notables included Ida Whaley Zoradia Lewis, born 1842, an American lighthouse keeper noted for her heroism in rescuing people from the seas. Francis Lewis, an American merchant and founding father of the United States who signed both the Articles of Confederation and the Declaration of Independence, he was a representative from New York in the Continental Congress. Fielding Lewis, born 1725, was an American merchant, member of the House of Burgesses, and colonel during the American Revolutionary War, and brother-in-law of George Washington. Matthew Gregory Lewis, born 1775, was an English novelist and dramatist whose writings are often classified as Gothic horror. Meriwether Lewis, born 1774, was an American explorer, soldier, politician, and public administrator, best known for his role as the leader of the Lewis and Clark Expedition. John Lewis, born 1765, was a Church of England clergyman in Kent and antiquary. John Lewis, born 1713, Brewer of Richmond and Surrey. Clive Staple Lewis, born 1898, a British writer, literary scholar, and Anglican lay theologian. Early settlers included Richard Lewis, who arrived in the Sea Venture in 1609, William Lewis, who arrived in the Lion in 1632, William Lewis came on the Ark and Dove in 1634, Edmund and Mary Lewis came aboard the Elizabeth in 1634, and John and Sarah Lewis arrived on the Hercules of Dover in the year 1634. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com where we offer genealogy research services. Link in the description. Thank you very much.